Hello, I'm Karina Basarte. The victim of the recent Interstate 8 shooting is speaking out about the horrific moment that almost ended his life. Reporter Zachary Moran Norris sat down with the victim to get his first-hand account of the wild incident, and we want to warn you, some of the images may be graphic. The 26-year-old fought for his life after being shot in the head by his girlfriend. He says he's just grateful to be alive. As soon as I saw her next to me, I uh, stepped on the brakes. As soon as I stepped on the brakes, I just I just hear the gunshots go off and and um my my vision just went blank. George Corona holding back tears as he recounts the day he almost died. As soon as I go over and you know put my hand right here, gushing blood. You know it was it was, it was horrible. I don't wish this on anybody, but it was just really really bad george was shot in the head driving on interstate 8 in winter haven after a dispute with his then girlfriend who police say is the one who pulled the trigger so i heard the gunshot and so i woke up in st joseph i was like yeah she was really just trying to get you know end my life andrea Contreras was arrested last week for attempted murder the two have a child together. Now, George is a single father. The shooting left George blind out of his right eye. He says he needs help paying for the operation that could get his vision back. I'm just happy that I'm here. I'm, I'm here. I'm alive. You know, if God takes away my vision from this eye, it's, it's totally fine. At least I got, I'm living, you know, I could see through the other one. Today, he still lives with constant migraines and has trouble eating and sleeping. His focus is making a full recovery so he can be there for his son. My road to recovery is to be good, to work, and to always love my son. And the only thing I have in this world is my son. Now Contreras is still behind bars here in Yuma County awaiting extradition to Imperial County. For more information on how to donate to George, visit our website at kyma.com. Reporting in Yuma, Zachary Moran Norris. Thank you, Zachary.